servicing the solenoid on an LV2. In order to service the solenoid on an LV2 you will first need to remove the frame assembly. You can uh, follow the instructions for removing the frame assembly using the link here. Once you remove the frame you will then need a Phillips head zero sized um, Phillips screwdriver. First thing I'm going to do is remove the two mounting screws, solenoid onto the manifold. Place the two retaining screws to the side. You'll see that in the manifold there is a small gasket. It's very important that you get the orientation of this gasket. Correct. It does only should only go in one way. It can't be flipped. So you need to make sure that the holes in the holes in the gasket line up with the three holes in the manifold itself. And don't put it in upside down. So there's one hole down here, two holes up here. You have to match that with the gasket. We can just pop that back into place and just leave that sitting there ready for reassembly. Then need to remove the cap and the uh, coil assembly to allow access to the spool. The cap at the back uses two very small screws. Again, use your zero size Phillips driver to remove those two screws. You'll note they're not excessively tight. those screws to the side, remove the cap. You'll also notice that there is a specific orientation for the cap. We'll look at that when we reassemble it. Then we have two clips, one either side here. Those two clips need to be pushed off. It can often be done just by using a thumbnail or a pick just to carefully slide those off. You can see they're like a U-shaped clip and they just slide on and off. Take one off one side, flip it over, remove the one from the other side, just push that off, just slide it off the other side, and then coil assembly placed one side. Don't advise removing any of these gaskets or the plunger from in here. It has a one-way seal on there, so just keep that assembly as it is. And then we have the main body now with the spool inside. Again, there is a um, specific orientation for this spool. So when you remove it, and carefully slide it out and keep the orientation of the body and the spool together. Okay. Again, there's a, a one-way uh, seal on one end of this spool, so we have to take it out and put it back in the same way. So keep the orientation of these parts together. Wipe off any excess grease or any dirt or anything that's been picked up on these seals. None of these seals are replaceable, um, but the spool is replaceable and we can obviously clean them and re-grease them. So again, keeping everything in the same orientation. Take some eclipse grease. Do not use any other kind of grease in the LV2. To work a little bit of that grease around the spool and then slide that back in same way that it came out. Okay. Then we can start to reassemble it. Um, doesn't really matter which way round we assemble it, as long as we obviously get the right pieces on the right end. So this is the cap on the far end, and you'll see there's a little cutout here and a small piece of plastic sticking out here. That gives the keeps the orientation correct. 
should find that uh, the SMC logo on there is in the orientation where the base and the SMC logo are in that orientation. Drop in a two small screws. So these do not need to be over tightened at all. Literally just screw them in until they stop, just using fingertips. Can now reattach coil assembly. Obviously everything looks like a base it needs to go on the same side. Everything looks like the top, the writing and the wires goes on the other side. Hold that together at the ends. We take the clips and slide those back into place. On that time, you will need to keep the pressure on as you attach both of those clips. Make sure they're pushed all the way down. Okay. And make sure the surface at the bottom that goes onto the gasket is clean. Gasket is clean and still in place with the holes in the gasket lined up with the hole in the manifold. Now we can drop that back into place, put the screws through first, line up the two screw holes manifold, and carefully put the screws back in, put them both in loosely to start with. Make sure the solenoid is straight. Then just carefully nip those up. Again, not excessive force, but a little more than the screws on the end, just to take up the compression in the gasket. That is the solenoid of the LV2 serviced. You can now reattach your frame assembly, again, using the link here.